the Inspectorate of Government is asking for an enactment of a new law that will allow them to seize assets of suspected corrupt officials who fail to explain the source of their wealth. Uganda loses approximately 9.1 trillion shillings annually to corruption but only about 30 billion, less than 1% of the amount is recovered. The IGG emphasizes the need for a comprehensive law on asset recovery to combat this issue effectively. Engaging the entire spectrum of government to inform them to be very formal in their dealings. If your boss asks you to write a document or to get money, ask him to put it in writing, ask him to sign for the money that you give him. So there's a lot of sensitization that the lower management level take a lot of responsibility for money which quietly or which they even tell us I gave it to my boss but there's no evidence. The IGG said this after she presented to Parliament Commissioner Afoy Chan Esther on behalf of the Speaker the biannual reports for the period covering Jan to June 2022, July to December 2022, and Jan to June 2023. In these reports, the IGG says there is a general decline in the number of investigations into corruption due to the restructuring process and internal transfer of staff. From the statistics, we have recommended a total of 38.7 billion to be recovered and we have recovered 7.96 now we have not been able to recover all because now we still have to go through charge somebody criminally win the case then before you come and start recovering the money it's a longer process a more difficult process in her remarks delivered by the commissioner for chan esther speaker commended the igg for timely submission of reports is uh, the job of uh, IG itself. Every politician should be able to support you because it is counterproductive for us to appropriate money and the money does not reach the people for which it, was in, it is intended. That is why we as members of parliament and as a parliamentary commission, we feel that we will support you to the end so that our monies, the monies that parliament appropriates here, reaches the final beneficiaries. In the report of January to June 2023, 1,309 complaints were registered, 330 cases concluded, 10 people convicted, and 3.6 billion recovered. Shamim Naiga and Gloria Gwitabinji, Parliament.